Private methods from Horis to Bryn. Bryn, I don't like this. I've managed to get eyes on some of the research the others were doing, and I'm getting a sense of a big picture here beyond anything we could have imagined. In our worst nightmares, kind of imagined. I'm going to start sabotaging my work. That's how bad it is. We need to meet up and talk. ASIP. H. Are you? <gasps> Commander Shepard. Dr. Gavin Archer. We met on Project Overlord. Fuck you. That's one way of putting it. Yes. Well, after you took my brother to Grissom Academy, I tried putting all that behind me. I don't suppose you have any news from there. I've heard rumors the Academy is in trouble. I was at Grissom Academy. Cerberus tried abducting the students, but David's okay. Oh, thank God. Commander, you have no idea what that means. No, I really have no idea. to start worrying about his safety now. I never stopped. I know you think I'm a monster, and you're mm -hmm. right. Not mm -hmm. a day goes by where my dreams aren't haunted by what I did to David. All I can do now is hope that one day he forgives me. What are you doing here? I strayed too far from the path. This was my only refuge. As a boy, I wanted to be a scientist remembered for doing right by the world, curing a disease or discovering a new element. Not a monster who tortured his own brother. Still don't like you, though. What did you say to the elusive man? I told him if his intention was to work with the devil, he only had to look in the mirror. I wanted out of his nightmare. He just let you go? Yeah. If it had been that easy, I wouldn't be hiding here. Every Cerberus soldier in the galaxy has orders to shoot me on sight. What happened to Project Overlord? After your intervention, the elusive man insisted I find another test subject. Someone who shared my brother David's abilities. I couldn't bear the thought of reliving the nightmare, so I destroyed all of my research. Overlord is no more. I have to go. And I'm not even gonna pretend it was good to see you again. I understand. But Commander, thank you for saving David. Both times. I, I still don't like you, but at least you try to change for the better, you bastard. <sighs> Get the text from Stockholm cell to pack their own crates. I need you up here. Don't be a jerk. There's only two of those guys. It'll just take me a minute. Panic cares everywhere. And make sure those samples from Project Mia get out on the second shuttle. I've already dropped one box. My hands were shaking so hard. We're going to make it. What she says. What's the status of the guns? Still waiting. I have my best people on it. How many scientists are here? 43, plus research assistants. How the hell did you go dark with so many in tow? When you fear for your life, there's a lot you can do. Bryn, I can't possibly dismantle the genetic amplification components in time. I'm sorry, Dr. Boehner. It's important work, but right now you need to tend to your family. Wait, there are families here? Children? You've got to be kidding. Hmm. So those refugees brought everyone with them? Yes. We have about 17 kids here. Partners, spouses, parents. I promised these people refuge. A new life free from Cerberus. I just never imagined the elusive man would... That's what evil counts on. But it's hard for good people to imagine. Okay. Everyone left gets out of here alive. This escape will have to be carefully executed. I'd hoped. We tried so hard to make sure it wouldn't come to this. What's the news? Can't tell. Only know I can't fix it from here. I'm going to the roof. You, I got to the roof. landed a shuttle there a couple minutes ago. You win? Jacob, you're injured. I'll fix the guns. No way. These are my people. I'm going. Just Dude. because you survived one suicide mission doesn't mean you get two. Ah, uh, fine. But I'm gonna talk you through it from here. Cerberus is probably jamming the satellite link. Radio me when you found the controls and I'll give you the override code. Will do. Copy that. Okay, we have to go up there, looking around, looking around, some credits. 
Personal lock bring coal. Uh, with Jacob's help, we have managed to ascertain that several of our colleagues were in fact killed. Contracts determined is what Severus call it. Mercator, Scott, Daniel, Junhai, Aniker, and so many others I didn't even know about. All of them gone, disappeared without a trace, just like that. We should have left sooner. I don't know why we waited so long. I can't remember what seemed so important that we had to stay just one more day. What was I thinking? I mean, I could also understand if you guys were scared. Like, you know. I'm in here. Yes, I'm not ready. Personal lock, the mini Sankupter. Oops, slightly correct. Attempts are ongoing at figuring out what the end product of our research was meant for. While it is obvious that the delivery system was to be implant reliant with evident neurological applications, many questions remain of yet as of yet unanswered. The loss of Dr. Horace Armstrong is particular, is hindering our efforts to speedy reconstruct the nature of the elusive man's goals. We have several parts of the whole which led us to chilling conclusions, but we are nowhere near figuring out what set, uh, figuring out what said hole might be, and that is what scares me the most. Some kind of poison tailored to Turians. Yeah, yeah, or something for the hospital. Uh, if I remember Dr. correctly. Cole. Got a moment? Of course. What's your relationship with Jacob? We went through a lot together. An old colleague of his introduced us. Through Jacob's eyes, I started to recognize what the elusive man had become. I guess I was so in love with my work that I refused to see the obvious. Its sponsor had become corrupt. I get that. That's why it's important to have good people around you. I don't know what we would have done without him. What kind of work did you do for Cerberus? Until the elusive man became preoccupied with the Collectors, I worked in physics. It was a researcher's paradise. I had access to cutting-edge tech and all the personnel I needed. The elusive man spares no expense for technical perfection. That technical perfection's almost killed me a few times. It also saved your life. Strange to think about, I would imagine. Maybe. <laughs> but then, life is full of uncomfortable ironies. Isn't everyone's? How'd you get away? I was a loyal senior employee. There's a lot of freedom in that. When our fourth colleague disappeared, we organized and were out the door in days. And until now, Cerberus never suspected you were hiding right under their noses. We honestly thought we had it all figured out. It's humbling. So, what's this work of yours that Cerberus wants so badly? It's based on tech gathered from the Collectors. In essence, it involves dissecting Reaper to Collector communications. Dr. Horace Armstrong and I were working on a practical human application. An implant of sorts. Once he'd completed his component and moved on to less valuable work, he disappeared. Mm -hmm. What kind of work did you do for Cerberus? Oh, wait. I... Until the elusive man became preoccupied, it was a researcher's. The elusive man spares no expense. Yeah, yeah, we, we had this. Sorry. But then life is full of uncomfortable irony. Cerberus work running from Isn't Cerberus? Everyone? Don't you think you've put these people in uh. serious danger? They wouldn't have it any other way. Science must never bow to tyranny. We didn't escape just to go into hiding. We wanted to build a new life, where we could live and work on our terms. Love, family, they're all part of that. Even now. Otherwise, what are we fighting for? Thanks, Dr. Cole. Cute I'll let words. you get on with the packing. Yep. Thank you again for everything you're doing for us. Always happy to help. I already said this a few times today. Okay, Let's I'll think I got it. Commander Shepard. Shepard, I'm in here. Uh-huh. Did I do something there? Okay, got some credits. Outpost rapper Jacob Taylor, outpost now 48% operational. We've recognized some of the storage rooms around the central core, turning them into living units in order to save power. The other areas are all condemned now, which should provide us with a buffer should Severus agents find us. The guns are functional, but I don't like how exposed they are. I'm going to look into finding us some more shielding on the black market. Hey, you okay? Have you been? Give us a minute. This is crazy. I didn't think I'd ever see you again. Hmm. I know the feeling. So how'd you become a gun for hire? 
Long story. It was an opportunity I couldn't resist for people I came to care about. You seem good. We look good. These are great people. Defending their ideals? I like it. I think I found what I'm meant to do. You still think about what happened to your dad? Haunts me more like. I'm sorry, I ask. How long have you known Bren? We met through a mutual friend in the Mumbai cell. Guess I've known her for a year. We had a lot in common. Then she came to me about her missing colleagues. Asked for my protection, my help finding a place to run to. How could I say no? Who is she to you? We're together. And you run this enclave with her. You settling down, Jacob? <laughs> yeah, maybe. It's just, um, if these are our final days, I want to spend them protecting these people. Building a life, whatever's left of it. Oh, what's the story, Jacob? Why are you working at a place like this? After we got back, well, things look different when you come back from a suicide mission alive. So I quit Cerberus, I quit everything. And sat by the Mediterranean for a while. That's when I lost track of you. And what did all the fresh air and meditation teach you? That what I choose to fight for better mean something to me. That it comes from the heart. We could sure use you. It's real tempting, Shepard, but I like where I'm at. I'm important to these people. I want a life. I want a family. Sure. I get that. Mm. No, Shepard. The Normandy's your real love. Hey, that's not true. Off, Garrus. Doesn't mean I don't want to say to hell with it sometimes. But you won't. You can't. I, I, there, there is place in my heart for the, the Normandy and Garrus. <laughs> Anything on Cerberus I should know about? The elusive man became obsessed with indoctrination. I know mm -hmm. that. I'm wondering you ever why. wonder how it all went wrong? I mean, was I blind? I remember him being an idealist. How come I couldn't see the evil? Don't beat yourself up. And if you ever get that crystal ball working, give me a heads up, because I'd love to know how this all plays out. <laughs> right. I should focus on getting these people out of here. You bet. Let's get to it. Hell yeah! Leaders, Jacob. Leaders. Okay, did I pick up something here? Oh, oh, is it? I don't know what it is, but I would have been sad if I missed it. Save this data. I told Let you that me. we should have gone to sanctuary. Look, let's just focus on getting out of here alive. Just go. Just go. No, no. Okay. These people had no plan beyond hiding. They didn't stand a chance. Elusive man really wants these guys. Yep. Are we gonna stop him? All right. All right. Heads up. Come on, guys, keep moving. Satellite tower. Mm hmm. James was my shockwave there. That was not the plan. Sorry, buddy. Are you dying? I don't even know who's dying here. Someone is somewhere dying. 
And this is why I can't do anything here. Or am I wrong? Nope, I can't do anything here and I don't know what this person is dying right now. Uh, up here, guys? Can you see him? Um, I mean, I saw someone here. Okay, that was three minutes ago, probably when we started this, this section here. Jesus! <laughs> uh, I had a bug definitely warned too. I can't remember it. Maybe I shouldn't use my biotic powers here. I mean, it wasn't really that hard. Maybe I should just shoot them. Maybe I, yeah, I, I'm pretty sure I pushed someone through the floor. Yeah, okay, there we go again. Just doing it the old fashioned way then. Buck, buck, buggity buck, 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 buggity buck, 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 buck. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, but I had a power. Sorry, I said it, I said it. Hehehe, <laughs> force will have it. Okay, next up, satellite tower. Oh, uh, on my way? There. Don't don't you dare dying up there or oh, half dying up there. There we go. better <laughs> Jacob this should be back online now affirmative but the guns are still down you'll need to manually activate them head back to the front of the facility more hostiles incoming like this way. I did not remember this gun. Ow, 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 yeah, yeah, this one hurts. Ow, I'm hiding here! Here. Ow, ow, 
Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I wanted to go over here. That hurts. So, that hurts. Yeah. <laughs> not what I wanted. Totally not what I wanted. Sorry, I have some difficulties here. So, see me. Get up there! Get up there! Get over there and hide! Here, people behind me. Please don't be there, people. We already killed them all. Chris was so good. Oh wait, what's here? Whoa! I, I okay. I was fancy. I just wanted this mad kid for crying out loud. Of course. Where? Okay, one of us has to make these repairs. Uh, definitely, Caden. You you're much better with tech stuff than James, I think. Caden, go fix the guns. Yes, ma'am. From a role play, a play point of view, that makes more sense. Bring it. Okay, it wasn't for me anyway. But loves a big gun and an even bigger one. Oh, okay, that was. <laughs> there we go. Ah. Shepard, A guns are back online. Copy that. Let's get these people out of here. Fuck here. Yeah. Ooh, easy peasy. Okay, the guns are already picking Cerberus ships out of the sky. Where we at? On track. First shuttle is already loaded with everyone under 16. Commander, when should we leave? What's our best chance for survival? Jacob, what do you think? Are we ready? Almost. We could go now. There's no do-overs here. Agreed. We get one shot. And we don't want to leave anything behind that could strengthen the elusive man's cause. Your call. I think... I think I already... Search the area, right? Yeah, I talked to everybody, I searched the area. Alright, let's get these shuttles in the air. I did this all before I went to the roof. I don't think there's anything new here now. I, I hope, at least. Stand by for shuttle launch. Have the guns punch a hole in the perimeter, then launch shuttle one.
All right, everyone here, head to the shuttle bay and... Suicide fighter took out one of the guns. Cerberus troops are... Was it so smart putting all the kids in one shuttle? Shouldn't you stick together as a family? Just asking. Hello! Are we going Ship. down there? Shuttles are loaded. We need you at the landing area to make sure they get away. I'll meet you down there. I'm away. Let's go, people. Clear the shuttle bay first so we can bring the door up. Then get out to the landing pad. Whoa! Roger that. Jake, bring up the main door. Got it, Shepard. Will do. Okay, Jacob has a health bar? Go. Okay. I, I, I don't like it here. I don't really have a place to hide. What is this? No way I wanted to go, or is it? Take out that shield generator. Oh, hi there. Not cool. Is this guy down now? Okay. There's still someone on the ride. Kill me, please, by now. And get the fuck out of here, there! More shuttle of refugees to go, right? Affirmative. We got this. Just need to hold them a little longer. I'll get her down! I don't like her! Are you kidding me, Shepard? Okay, James, you you play with your lady? All right. I think she was already dead, but I was satisfied. Evacuation complete. Understood. Yeah, okay. Hang on. Aye, yeah, yeah, it's always. Jacob, hang tight. We'll clear you a landing zone. here okay we got this down he's down Jacob landing area clear hell yeah bring the shuttle to you pretty please Tango, Delta, Alpha, Tango, Tango. Shut, 
I liked how Caden and skin of our teeth again, eh, Shepard? Nice to see you back in action. Mm -hmm. Yeah, feels good. I was afraid we wouldn't get anyone out alive, but because of you, we got almost everyone. Thank you. I was happy to help. Call. I have a request, one that you can't afford to turn down. I need your help against the Reapers. Without a doubt, I'm at your service, and I'm sure you can count on the others as well. You too, Jacob. I need you. Of course, but I wouldn't mind staying with these folks. You don't want to join the team on the Normandy? I'm torn, Shepard, but looking out for these families is important to me. It's where I'm at right now. I hope you can see that. Keep them safe, then. The Alliance needs that crucible. You got it. All right. Report to Admiral Hackett for your assignment. You know, Commander, I've never met anyone like you. Just feel better knowing you're on our side. Huh. Thanks. <laughs> Shepard, when this mess is over, drinks are on me. Be safe out there. You still owe me one, buddy. I remember you still owe me a beer. Ah, it's nice to see him again. Back then, during my first playthrough, when I dated him in Mass Effect 2, it was not so nice seeing him again with her. I'm a problem solver. I like that. Hack it here. Mm -hmm. I'm sending you a large team of scientists. I have the dossier. They're all Cerberus defectors. Keep them safe. Will do, and I'll put them straight to work on the Crucible. Jacob Taylor is with them and is already working to find a place for the families. He'll be a valuable asset as well. Snagging Dr. Cole from the elusive man is a coup. Having her on our side could be a huge win for us. The sooner we can get the Crucible finished, the better I'll feel. I'm with you. Shepard out. <sighs> ah, Jacob. I have so much money. I don't know what to do with it. Axe, Sabri, Scientist, Cole, eh, Archer. <laughs> Jacob! <laughs> okay. Oh no, I just realized there is this another side mission we should do now, and I really don't want to do because I'm very scared of it because it's one of the creepiest shit that is happening in here, uh, that is happening here in this game. The server seemed popular for a while. They were fighting the collectors while the council sat and watched. And now they're killing civilians and attacking our allies. How the turns have tabled. Commander, Chief huh? Engineer Adams would like to speak with you down in engineering. All right. I will go there in a second. Thank you, trainer. Found something from Miranda Lawson Shepard. I discovered a few things about my sister. It's bad, but there's something else going on. I'm back on the Citadel. I'll find a place to meet and send you an F point when you get there. Miranda. Dinner? Uh-oh. From Kate and I like her, I said, but I don't know about you, but I could sure use a little breather. Next time we're on the Citadel, let me buy you dinner. We should try Apollo's. It's, uh, it's a little restaurant in a courtyard overlooking the Presidium Caden. <gasps> oh, okay, what is this? Uh, we definitely go for the Citadel next. Uh, we talk to Adams and then we go for the Citadel. Take a break from Gary Sokari and Shepard. I thought next time we're at the Citadel, maybe you could take a break. Can't wait. Uh, can't fight a war without a little air and air once in a while. I'll be hanging around C-Sec, need of shuttles if you're interested, Gary's. Getting away from work from Liara to Sony, Shepard, I need an excuse to tear myself from all these monitors. Come see me next time we duck in the Citadel, Liara, visiting the Citadel from Javik. Commander, I find this mess mess messaging system to be outdated and clumsy. I assume specialist trainer was joking when she said I had to type letters to form words. I want to visit the Citadel the next time we travel there. In my lifetime, it had been captured by the Reapers. If you would like to join me, I will be in the area where the embassies are located. I believe this concept of galactic control, shared among races, is a lie. <laughs> okay, let's talk to Adams very quick. Ah, uh, da da da, engineering. Let's talk to Adams very quick, and uh, we, we talk to everyone on the set up, but uh, first and uh, foremost, and most importantly, to Garrus. Ah, ooh, 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 ooh. Are we good? Oh boy, that was slightly for a while. For a while, for like two seconds. Oh, I knew this was coming. I just mean, it's an amazing work of engineering. Elastic titanium silicon polymers, ultra light harmonic phased power cells. Mm hmm. And if she ever accidentally walks into a wall, there's just so much padding. Oh, I knew it. Wish I were a wall. You pretty much are, Cannon. Ah, uh, yeah, you're pretty much a prick right now. Man, Brick wall. news on the installation of that thermal pipe you got us. I went right, brilliant. Much better than we expected. I told you it would. It gets better. 
While interfacing through our ESO capacitors, our Miss Daniels here had an epiphany. Oh, uh -huh. I wouldn't go that far. She and Donnelly deduced some theoretical improvements to our capacitor design. Evie and I ran with it and documented our conclusions. Our core is too compact to apply our theories, but it could help the Crucible engineers. Give the word and they'll send the plans their way. Do it. Aye, aye. Well done, everyone. I'm proud of you. And I would like to go to the Citadel. Commander, Caden was looking for you. I believe he's in the crew quarters. Y yeah, honestly, Caden, we can talk later. <laughs> this is more important. Now. We can we can talk at the Citadel, and then we can talk later. This is what come, what's, what's about to happen now in the Citadel. I've thought, okay, we got everything here. This is also good to know. Ooh, ooh. Running out of fuel, but it's okay. We go to the Citadel. I thought it would only come after the next main mission. So I'm, I'm very excited. I was not expecting it now, but I really would like to experience it now. Okay, too, too many things now. Uh, yeah, yeah, here, aliens, uh, alliance dogs, the normal ones, please. <laughs> no DLC, only hanging out with my crew. I don't know where I have to go. You're cleared to dock, Normandy. Do you need ground transport? Is that he's near, um... I, no, I'm, I'm not. I'm not <laughs> increasingly difficult due to the number of refugee ships in the docking area. I think Gareth said he's near seasick, but I'm not quite sure if this means that he's like... Yeah, see, I, I'm not really sure where he is. I need to see the map first. Okay, he's actually here. This is very good. See? He was smart. Okay, if, I think I have to talk... No, not to you? All right. I thought I have to talk like to him to as well. I'd like to request a transfer to his zone with Reaper, Sergeant. And may I ask why... Garrus! Hi. Shepard, if you're feeling up to it, I thought we could do something fun for a change. Shepard, glad you came. What'd you have in mind? Something that doesn't involve fighting Reapers. I don't think they've conquered the bar yet. I already scoped it out. But then I thought, if this was my last day alive, I'd actually like to remember it. So? So, I had an idea. We're doing something crazy. <laughs> Where are we going? Somewhere we're not supposed to. Now you're talking. Ever have that one thing you always wanted to do before you died, Shepard? I've woken up with a Turian next to me. Still trying to make me blush, huh? Until it works. So what's your one thing? The whole time I worked at CSEC, I'd stare up at the top of the Presidium and say to myself, I want to go up there. But I never did. There were 137 regulations telling me I couldn't. So you got them changed? No. Now I just don't give a damn. Oh god, it's so hot! <laughs> How can you not fall in love with him? <sighs> I'll never understand. Figured it's time to do something stupid just for the hell of it. Might be the last chance we ever get. It's incredible. I'd be lying if I said I didn't hope it would inspire a certain mood. Something on your mind? It seemed like you needed time to figure us out. Not at all. Are you ready to be a one Turian kind of woman? The only thing that made leaving Earth bearable was knowing you were out there somewhere. I felt the same way. The worst part about the galaxy going to hell would have been never getting to see you again. Well, here I am. Exactly where I want to be. I love you, Garrus Vicarian. Wow. The vids Joker gave me, well, they never got this far. There was the part about sleeping together, but this is... I... Who needs a vid when you've got me? Uh, 
And now, before we head back, there is one thing we're going to settle. <laughs> once and for all. I'm not saying you don't know how to handle a gun, just saying some of us know how to make a dance. I'm so happy! <laughs> so, let's find out who's really the best shot. There are a few people in the galaxy who've seen me in action, Garrus. They seemed impressed. Yeah, but I've actually seen you dance, Shepard. No comment. Very right, nice. Carrion, you're going down. And don't worry, I loaded it with practice lugs for when you miss. That was an easy one. Let you build up your confidence. <laughs> Long range, I wrote the book. Nobody alive can do this, not even Commander Shepard. Give me a tough one. <laughs> I said a tough one. Step aside. <laughs> Uh, come on, I, 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 yeah. do it. I'm Garrus Vicarian, and this is now my favorite spot on the Citadel. <laughs> I like this line. It's windy up here. <laughs> there, there. It's okay. I know there are other things you're good at. Oh, yes! It's official again! I don't have to worry about a weird love triangle between him, me, and... Can't anymore. <sighs> Paranoid. <laughs> I am very happy. I I can I will love you stop never stop smiling again. Ah, <sighs> are you okay? You you move a little weird, but it's okay. You know we're all a little weird, especially when we're in love. <laughs> okay, where do I get? Ah, God, this video game character ruined me for the rest of the life when it comes to real men. Okay, where do we go next now? Miranda and Javik? Jake? Jacob? Didn't send us a mail. How, how was he supposed to know he's here? Okay, um... You didn't get a paramount for the first game? I, I don't know. I just got it for this game. That is really weird. Now, for the first game, like, for the fir for Mass Effect 1, I mean, I, I was about to have sex with Caden, but I didn't want this whole romance, so I turned him down, which is something I never did before in a Mass Effect 1 playthrough. Like, turning down the romance when it's about to get romantic. Maybe this is why? I, I really don't know why. What the fuck do I care about the past? I'm in love now. Okay, I already talked to everyone here. Liara and Caden want to talk here. Tactus. Tactus. Tactus James Cortez. Oh boy. Um, how about we go here first? How about we go to the embassies Miranda and Javik? Yep, yep, yep. Maybe checking out the Spectre office, the terminal, whatever you want to call them. That sounds like a good plan. I, I don't really care as long as I did Garrus first. Ah! <laughs> Oh, right, I'm pretty f yeah, Javik was here, so, hi. How you like it here? Hell of a view, isn't it? During our war, this place became a myth to my people. A dream glimpsed only in the memory shards. The citadel was both the heart of our civilization and its demise. The Reapers hid here first, didn't they? No one I knew had ever seen the Citadel. To be here now, I don't know what to think. It might not seem like much, but a Prothean is standing on the Citadel alive. That's a victory in itself. Perhaps. When things were at their darkest, we used to tell stories, imagining the wonders of this place. The seat of our empire. The power to sway worlds. The galaxy belonged to us. Nowadays, a lot of races have embassies here. It's true, then. You share power with the rest? It's not perfect, but it's kept the peace. Most of the time. Pardon me. This one has been listening. This one suspects you are a Prothean. A Hanar. 
I remember your kind when you were still minnows in the ocean. This one is unworthy. This one has seen the face of an enkindler. They consider your kind to be their gods. A pity we did not teach them to speak better. You're really a Prothean? I am. But... If you lost the last war, what hope do we have? For many, there may be no hope. The Reapers killed trillions in my cycle. The odds of... Um, I don't think that's gonna work. A bit more uplifting! But you are still alive now. There we that go. alone is a miracle. And you still have the power to fight. My people knew your kind when you were young. Torian, Asari, Hana. There was potential in all of you. Now you must seize that potential and become the weapon you are meant to be. The weapon that tells the Reapers we are not machines. We are alive and we will fight back. Ah, goosebumps. Thank you. That meant a lot. Commander Shepard, it must be an honor to have a Prothean fighting alongside you. He's kind of scary. He's starting to learn his way around. Javik is one of the best soldiers I've ever seen. The commander is a capable warrior as well. For a human who once lived in caves. Okay. This is a Thank long you, time commander. ago. Okay. I've enjoyed my time here, walking among the young. I will see you back on the Normandy. Ah, I like him. Okay, Miranda should be nearby as well, here somewhere. So if she's up here, maybe? Send the girl to your side of the family. Are you kidding? My family disowned me when I married you. Okay, I'm really not sure where she is. Let me go in here first, then. Location of Din Korlag. While this ambassador Din Korlag, current location is unknown. Biometric analysis does not detect him in any public location at this time. His last known position was an office suit near the human embassy. This is, like, totally nearby. <laughs> ah, anything interesting here? I have so much money. I really have a lot of money. I really have a lot of money. Maybe we should... Well, come on, I check them out later if they're better or not. Okay, maybe I don't have so much money. There was an expensive weapon. I hope it was a good one. I will check this also out later. Yeah. Oh! Good to see you're all right, Shepard. There you are. Miranda, what's going on? Couldn't meet in person. The Citadel is too dangerous right now. I heard about the attempted coup. Yeah, with Kai Lang's help, Udina nearly seized control. Kai Lang? That slippery bastard's still alive? He's alive and right in the middle of all this. That complicates things. I'll be on my guard. Look, I don't have much time, but I learned what happened to my sister. Where is she? I don't know that yet, but my father was definitely responsible. If he's done anything to her, I'll kill him. Miranda. Shepard, listen. I'm being hunted by Cerberus assassins. A lot of them. I need to stay out of sight. What? Why? I heard a rumor. Maybe more that my father is working on something for the elusive man. Something big. Why would your father be working with the elusive man? Especially now. My father is ruthless about preserving his legacy. Legacy? He has an obsession with making his mark in history. Ensuring his dynasty lasts forever. And you think the elusive man made him an offer? Exactly. Whatever's going on with your father can't be good. We have to figure this out. I agree, but... I need to do this myself. It's time I stopped running from him. You're sure? Yes. I can't think straight until I know Ari is safe. Be careful. I can't promise that, Shepard. Could you? No. I couldn't. But, but but still, try to be. I don't need a promise. I just need you to try to be careful like Miranda. Ah, okay. Guess we got this here then. 
Uh, wait, little office near the embassy? This is a problem, boss. Huh? Cerberus has changed their ciphers, and our code breakers aren't getting anywhere. I've got our best teams working in shit. Uh, okay, I don't know. Maybe I have to find something again. Most likely I have to find for em embassy guards. Oh, I'm at the wrong side. Embassy guard, probably. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. Walking, walking. Over there. You look like an embassy guard. Was the Volus ambassador here earlier? Yes, he was, Commander. I need in. Spectre business. I'll unlock the office when you're ready. I am ready. What's going to happen, though? Am I ready? with us before, Ambassador. That's because you were actually doing some good in the galaxy before. Has that changed? How many colonies would be gone if we hadn't taken action against the Collectors? Too many. But fighting the Alliance... ...must continue in order to end the war. We understand it took a lot for you to reach out to Cerberus, Ambassador Korlak. We ask that you trust us a little longer. You shouldn't save stuff like that. Just, I don't know. <laughs> you people are monsters! Ambassador, please. Hundreds dead. Udina betraying the Council. I should have cut ties with you ages ago. And what will that accomplish now? The risks you took by passing information to Cerberus. It's left you in an interesting position. If you sever contact, we can't protect you from the consequences. I don't... I have no time for this. We'll speak again. Have a good day, Ambassador Korlak. <sighs> the Turians think I'm still working for Cerberus. They've put a price on my head. <sighs> I can't go to CSEC, but Cerberus has plans. An entire Turian colony rests on my life. If anyone finds this, I hid a tracking receiver in the office suite beside the human embassies. What are you... Damn, Cerberus has them everywhere nowadays. You're gonna go on about them all night. Just get the car up here quick. Little bastard's even heavier than he looks. Said? I didn't remember that. I mean, I was actually just wondering. Uh, maybe my deep down my memory, I really didn't un, uh, didn't remember that he was part of this mission. But when we started going over here, I was like, at some point, Said showed up, right? I think my my memory put, put, tried to put things together there. And now I do remember our oh, cool, 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 cool Said. About time we see him again. Captain, gonna know where we have to go? How long till we killed Korlak? Once the credits go through, was beginning to think you weren't interested in the money. I'm not. Because Korlak worked for Cerberus? What'd they do to you? None of your goddamn business. He waking up? This is Commander Shepard. Can you hear me? <sighs> yes. Yes, I can hear you. Tell me where you are. Uh, we're still near the Presidium. CSEC will check Selkish arms when they realize I'm missing. They won't give a damn when they realize you sold them out to Cerberus. Wait. Cerberus is planning to attack a colony that... Stay calm. Help's coming. Shepard's on her way. Okay, she's already going there on her own. I don't have to bring her there, apparently. Ooh. Uh, okay, maybe I have to. Zaid used to work, work for people. Cerberus. Ask him why he's here. Why? Why go after your old employer, Zaid? How you know my name all of a sudden? Uh oh. Good question. Is it this one? 
Is this one on the other side? I'm not sure. Damn, wrong door. I have to stop Cerberus. Cerberus is after a Turian colony. Kill me, and they get it. Drop my name. Shepard. Shepard's investigating. She's a recent acquaintance. A oh, recent. Very. <laughs> Been a while, Zaid. Shepard. Glad I wasn't just making an ass of myself over a hunt. <laughs> Undisciplined bastards. This is what I get for signing up at the last minute. Where's Korlak? I'm here, Commander. I... You saved my life. I almost died because the Turians thought I was still with Cerberus. Did those marks hurt you? I'm fine. They wanted me alive until the fees were delivered for my capture. They didn't care about what I had to say. You kept mentioning a colony in your message. Information on a Turian planet's defense system. They'll strike soon. But if I tell you which planet they're attacking, Cerberus will know I turned traitor. Turn, you already betrayed your own people. We saved your life. Tell us what planet you put in danger. I can offer a bargain. The Volus bombing fleet. In tactical terms, it's worth far more than a colony. I don't care. Or you could give us both. <laughs> you can warn the Turians there'll be an attack, Commander. That should be general enough to ward off suspicion. You tried to do the right thing before, it failed because you trusted the wrong people. Now here's your chance to make up for it. You're giving us Volus support, and you're going to help us make Cerberus pay for using you. I can't. You can. Waste of everyone's time trying to appeal to a Volus's better nature, Shepard. Aphis. The colony's name is Aphis. Cerberus wants its shipyards. And the bombing fleet? Yes, it's yours, Commander. I'll speak with Citadel Security about this... incident. You have my thanks. Easy! <laughs> Took him long enough to spit that out. Nah, it was easy Zane, if you were a skater. <laughs> Later, C6 on their way. Won't be too pleased with the mess we left them. Catch up with me at the docks if you like. All right. Yeah, I still have to head there as well. But for now, I think Lior and Caden are hanging around here. Uh, Caden at the cafe. Let's go with Caden first and to the left. I know where the cafe is. I know where. where to. Yeah, down there. I don't see him yet, but I see the cafe. <laughs> 